Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Four StarCraft II Strategy. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Terran strategy. Now in this particular video, our Terran player is Murs, and our Zerg opponent is Kenzie. So go right into Murs' mission here. So again, this is a Terran strategy. Specifically what we're going to be looking at is uh, early game harassment being effective in doing so and trying to come up with a good composition or use a good composition of units against your opponent early game to do some harassment uh, economically and then transitioning into a solid build that's going to be effective to any responses that they're going to get to your early harassment for example specifically in this game what we're going to be looking at is beginning the game with some early hellion into banshee harassment uh, that's something i've covered in previous videos in fact in the videos that i showed prior that was effective enough in taking out our opponent now that's great and going into a game with that type of strategy is awesome because it's going to be effective it'll be able to take out your opponent in many cases but if it doesn't if your initial push or second push doesn't take your opponent out you need to be prepared for a proper transition and you need to be prepared to transition into something that's going to be effective um, not only against the race that you're playing against but effective against any possible responses that they could have to the build that you hit them with initially so for example we're going to be starting this game off with some hellion and then switching into banshee harassment uh, this can be very effective and in the last video i showed of this type of strategy that that was enough that solely there was enough to take out our opponent but from there, we're going to be moving into another effective build against Zerg. Again, we do have a Zerg opponent in this matchup. And that build is going to be that Marine into Tank. And the great thing about this is that if you begin the game with some early Hellion and Banshee harassment, they have two pretty likely responses. Um, especially once, once you see them tech up to layer tech, you're likely to be seeing either Mutalisks or you're likely to be seeing Hydras, because both those units are going to do very well against Hellions and against Banshees. Uh, so the mindset of the Zerg player is going to be, okay, well, I'm constantly being harassed by these Hellions and Banshees, so I need something to deal with it. I have a layer. I'm going to get either a Hydralisk Den or a Spire, so that I can get either Hydralisk or, <coughs> or Mutalisk. Well, in going, in switching from that Hellion Banshee harassment, in doing economic damage with that and making the switch to marine tank you will effectively counter both mutilists and hydralists so that's something to really keep in mind now before we get too much further i'm going to take a look at the build order a couple key things to note um, we start off with that standard 10 supply depot nothing uh, out of the ordinary there but we follow that up with a 12 refinery as opposed to a 12 barracks now the reason we did that is because in getting that 12 refinery and saturating it right away it's going to allow you to get that factory immediately after that first barracks is done building that's something that can be very effective especially if you're going for this fast factory for early uh, hellion harassment or anything of the sort so it was that 12 refinery then we follow that up with a 13 barracks so just a little switch there and Instead of 12 barracks, 13 refinery, it was 12 refinery and a 13 barracks. Now once that barracks is up, we just produced a marine out of it, but the more notable thing is that as soon as that barracks finished, we had that 100 Vespian to go ahead and drop our factory immediately. Now also, while that factory is building, um, at 19 supply we're going to start getting a reactor right on our barracks, and that's going to allow us to make a little switch. Once that reactor is done building, you can go ahead and put that factory right on it and start producing Hellions uh, doubly as fast, clearly, because that is what the reactor does. Now, also 19 Supply, that is when we got our Orbital Command, and as well at 19 Supply is when we got our Starport. So, already we're preparing for that switch. We're starting that game off with these early Hellion harassment, c because it can be very effective against Zerg. Uh, it does a very good job of taking out their economy. They're basically forced, almost, to either get Speedlings to deal with this, or to get a few Queens and some Spine Crawlers. That's kind of the, the two responses that you're going to be seeing uh, when pushing out with early hellions but the good thing is that in both of those if you micro properly you can still do very well against them so again we're starting off with this early her uh, hellion into banshee harassment that's something important to note as well uh, we're immediately following up this hellion harassment with banshee harassment a little miscue here from our terran opponent uh, he did in fact get supply blocked so ideally you would not let that happen um, but that's not the important thing again what we're really concentrating on here is the why these transitions can be effective and how they can work. Um, our Zerg opponent has a proper response to this early Hellion push in getting <coughs> these queens here. He's got these queens, he's got these spine crawlers, does a pretty good job of fending off those early Hellions. Um, and then our transition here, again, is going to be into these Banshees to do additional economic harassment. Uh, and we're going to see actually an effective push very shortly. Now, taking a look here, uh, in going for this early harassment, in 
trying to take out his economy and trying to do a lot of damage. Um, it allows you, it opens up that opportunity to expand, so you can take advantage of that, definitely. We got this command center at 34 supply, that's when we started building it. Um, and then after that started building, almost immediately after, we started getting these additional barracks. So again, we started with that early Hellion into Banshee. These Banshees are just coming out right now, but we're already preparing for that next switch. We are already preparing for the switch into Marine and Siege Tank. Um, and you'll see right here, we're going to be dropping down this factory, uh, getting a tech lab on that shortly as well. So that, that marine into siege tank build, that transition is already being prepared. Now this is that push that I was talking about, something that you can try to implement. Um, diverting your opponent's attention to one area and then hitting them from another area can be very effective. So as you can see, we're moving in with Hellions here, we're harassing his expansion, and at the very same time, we're hitting his economy and his main with this Banshee. Doing this can do a very good job. If you can kind of split your the focus um, or split the attention of your opponent into multiple areas, it can be very successful. Um, we did a pretty pretty good number on his expansion there, and as you can see already, we've taken out a lot of his workers because that banshee was just sitting here harassing. And then once we were done with the, his expansion, we went ahead and moved into the main with these hellions. And you can see here very effective push, taking out a lot of workers and just in general disrupting his economy quite a bit. I mean, we did just finally lose that uh, hellion, but it was quite some time and it did a lot, a lot of damage. In fact, if we take a look at the map here completely, um, you know, he was a lot more saturated than this initially. In fact, the only reason he has so many drones here is because he's been forced to mass produce drones after losing them all. So, just goes to show you how effective those type of harassments and pushes can be. Now, again, because we've been so offensive this entire game, because we've constantly been harassing uh, between that just early Hellion push and then that Hellion into Banshee push, and we've done so much damage economically, it has been successful. We're pretty comfortable in expanding at this point. Um, and here we go with that transition I was talking about, getting this tech lab on the factory. Also, we're going to be upgrading our Marines, because, again, we're at this point where so far into the game, all our Zerg opponent has had to deal with was Banshees and Hellions. So he does not want to continue to have to deal with Banshees and Hellions, so he needs to get a good response. And those those responses are likely to be, especially since he has a layer, either Hydralisk or Mutalisk. So in going for these Marines and these with Siege Tank backup, very, very strong. Siege Tanks absolutely destroy Hydralis, and Marines do very, very well against Mutalisk, especially upgraded Marines, and we are, of course, going to be getting those upgrades. No reason to neglect them. Getting that combat shield for that extra life for our Marines, and getting that stem pack for that uh, extra speed and damage increase. Uh, really, really good. Really, really strong. Uh, and pushing out with this combination of units, also coupled with some support here from Medivacs, is going to do very well. Um, and again, this just goes to show you that while if you could play aggressive, if you're comfortable playing aggressively in your game and being able to macro your base at the same time, it can really put you at a huge advantage because it can make it so that you can be feel free to expand. Now, if we were on the opposite end of this harassment, if in turn our Zerg opponent was actually constantly harassing us, this would be a scary prospect expanding here because this is just right in the wide open. It would be so easy for Zerglings, Speedlings to run in here and harass us. Um, but again, since we were the offensive uh, party, we were the one on the offensive and constantly harassing, it's, it was easy for us to expand and we didn't have to really worry about those Speedlings uh, because we've done so much economic damage. So as you can see, pushing forward here, um, holding back our Marines, we don't want to pull them out of the range of our siege tank. Definitely want to give them that siege tank support. That's the reason they're going to be effective. Um, and we quite easily took out the amount of forces he did have. And someone might say, well, he didn't really have a ton of units. And that is the case because of all that early game harassment. Because we hurt his economy so much um, with those early pushes, he just didn't have enough he didn't have enough of an economy to be able to produce. Um, and as you can see, he did go ahead and call a good game. I just wanted to rewind so we didn't have all those players leaving the game right in the center of the screen there. Um, I mean, Zerg player, very good, very strong player, but the problem was that with all that early harassment, um, there, he could have done a few things a little bit better. I mean, I would say that if he had gotten uh, some speedlings on the board earlier, he would have been able to fend off that Hellion harassment a bit more. Uh, did a good job of fending off those Banshees, but those Hellions just did too much damage to him. But the main purpose here of this video is to show you guys how 
starting the game with one sort of opening or one sort of idea, and the idea in this game was Hellions into Banshees, and then comfortably transitioning into a build that's going to respond to what your opponent could respond to your early harassment with. And a good response to our early harassment, again, would have been those Mutalists or those Hydralists, and in getting the upgraded Marines with the Siege Tanks, that was a good counter um, or good preparation for what he was likely to be getting. We're going to go over that build order real quick one more time here. Start off with that 10 supply depot and fold it up with a 12 refinery and then a 13 barracks. Again, getting that refinery first so that we can have enough Vespian gas to go ahead and drop that factory right away as soon as that barracks is done building. And in fact, we did do that at 17 supplies when we dropped our factory. 19 supply, we got our orbital command, and at the same time, we dropped a reactor on our barracks, and that way we could switch that factory um, with the barracks, uh, put it right on the reactor to get Hellions out doubly as fast. Knights in Supply, we also dropped a starport there, so getting ready for that fast tech switch into Banshees. Um, now 30 Supply, we went ahead and we got our second refinery. Uh, 30 Supply is when we also got the tech lab right here on our on our starport to start producing those Banshees. And then at 34, again, because of all that harassment that we were doing, we felt comfortable in expanding uh, to our natural. We had taken out so much of his economy and we had done so much damage to him um, that we felt pretty comfortable we wouldn't be seeing anything offensive anytime soon. So we dropped that command center and got ready to expand there. Um, and then we just followed that up by getting additional uh, barracks. We got two more barracks. We got the tech labs on there so that we could get those upgrades for our Marines. Um, that stim pack and combat shields also started getting a couple of drop ships to help supplement our army to help with that healing power and the ability to lift off if necessary. Uh, we also got that siege check and that siege tank and we moved out with that and again as you saw that push was enough to take him out because of all the damage we had done earlier in the game. So once again guys this has been 4 Starcraft 2 strategy. If you guys like our videos and you like what we're doing here please do go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Keep watching and keep owning guys. So you can really put them in a bind. This this fast tech switch from that early marine Hellion harass into these Banshees can be very devastating, as you can see. That cloak has finished researching now, so he's forced to get this overseer right here. Um, and but even with that overseer, unless he gets a ton of queens on the board, which he does have the second one.